Alright, so right here we're just going to do the install of RetroArch. I've already downloaded it, so I'll be able to launch it right from here. Once it gets launched, we'll go through, close it out. And then we're going to go into my file explorer and add in our config, auto config, system, filters, and saves. Those are all the folders that I moved because I had to put the filters in myself. Delete your folders that were already there, then go to wherever you have your stuff saved. This is my saves that I have from my previous configs that I've made. And you will just copy them all and paste into your local state. This takes a few minutes. I'll let it go in real time. Um, you can get your files from wherever as long as you make sure that they're actually all there before you try to transfer them. Uh, you want to make sure that your BIOS files in your system are all where they're supposed to be. This is much quicker too than FTP in your stuff into the system. Probably should have had some music during this little part here so it's not as uh, dull. So I can't think of anything to say. Um, I do have other videos of gameplay that I'm going to try to put up. Um, it'll show PlayStation 2, Wii, GameCube. PlayStation, Dreamcast, Saturn, Nintendo 64. It'll also show the glitches that happen when GL cores are run, that when it crashes on closed content, it will automatically switch over to GL sometimes on you. Not sure if I'm going to do audio over on top of it like I'm doing with this. I'm recording this after the fact because I just wasn't smart enough or whatever you want to call it to do the thing in the beginning. Trying to think of how far along I was in this when this is going. Um, shouldn't have too, too much longer, I don't believe, for it to fully transfer everything over. 
if you're still watching through all this I do apologize but just wanted to kind of show it in real time as compared to fast forwarding through it and this way you can see how long it really takes to just transfer over all the main files that you're going to need it'll even be even slower if you don't transfer everything like I do that I have you can just transfer your system folder with the BIOS files that you need and that'll definitely shave time off it for you So there we go, that's done transferring. Once that's done, you should normally go through and verify that all your files are there. You want to make sure that everything transferred I didn't do that obviously. I was fairly confident that this would work and thankfully it did. After this you go through, go to the online updater, update your core info files, assets, database, and the sling shaders. If you didn't move an auto config folder, you should update the controller inputs as well. There you go.